What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. It's time for a little bit more Zomboid. Now, we were going to go into the town hall, but unfortunately the place is like swamped with zombies and I don't have a weapon right now. I did want to kind of cruise down Main Street real fast and see if there was any kind of... So we got like haircuts. I'm looking for like a hardware store or something. We already hit up all the medical centers. We already went to the book place and the buffet. Like, I don't know if this map actually has a hardware store. But I think a hardware store is really what I'm sort of looking for right now. This is where we were previously when we got overrun by an off-camera helicopter. We kind of had to, like, vamoose and get out of dodge. I kind of need another weapon, though, too. Our baseball bat is broken. I do have some wood glue inside of here but like the question I gotta ask myself is if I wanna waste it all on the bat that's the thing is like do I like the bat that much to go out of my way to preserve it there we go just knock this guy down doesn't matter we'll we'll scrum with him for a second like you can defend yourself even if you have no weapon like even hand to hand you'll probably be okay in Zomboid it takes some timing and it takes some getting used to but it's not hard like it's absolutely 100% doable Oh, I don't want to check the engine. I don't care about that. There's a hotel over here. I was kind of just looking around the neighborhood for anything that I could use to kind of defend myself. Like, I don't really care about the rest of it. I'm just trying to find something. Maybe this place over here. There's like a parking lot or something over on this side. I may be able to use this for something. I don't know. A bail bonds place. Knock this guy down. Stomp on his head a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Well, I don't think this neighborhood's going to provide us with anything too useful. It still be my... I think this is like a hotel or something over here. Like, what is this? Like a little like roach motel or something? Oh, it's a saloon. Gotcha. We may find a weapon in here. This might be a decent spot to find like a gun underneath the bar or something. Perfect. We just got another skill point, I think. Did we? I don't know if we got a skill point or what happened right there, but... It seems to think that we got something. Dude, our accuracy is like really, really good with blunt weapons. It's surprisingly good. I'm sort of pleased. All right, so what's going on in here? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let me get the wood glue. Maybe like a hammer or something in here. The hammer is not a tremendously amazing weapon. Neither of those is in amazing shape, though, so I'll take the hammer. The crowbar is a little bit scuffed up. It's seen better days. My guess is that, like, Gordon Freeman had something to do with it. I don't know. It looks like someone has been struck with this crowbar. It's a little bit damaged, and so maybe I won't lean into that one. I'm going to eat an entire cabbage because getting all of your iron and nutrients and manganese and whatever, magnesium or whatever it is that we put inside of our bodies is important. But now I have a claw hammer and I can actually defend myself. We're in a bit better of a shape here. I mean, it's not as good as a baseball bat, but it'll do. Yeah. I think that our accuracy is good enough to where to like carry us through here, even if it doesn't really go the way that we want it to. That thing didn't lose any durability from smacking a foe. That's good. Anything up here in the bathroom? Some tissue paper and some broccoli seeds. People store stuff in this game in the weirdest places. Like, who puts broccoli seeds inside a bathroom trash? You know what I mean? Like, I just... I don't understand. Oh, my God. There's so many goodies in here. What do you guys have under the bar? Anything? Come on. I know y'all got something for me in here. I got a funny feeling. I guess the tapper doesn't have anything, but there's a whole bunch of orange soda over there. Just in case you wanted to, like, orange soda out. Do they live up above this place? They don't. I don't know where that zombie is. you see that zombie? Oh, he's in the hallway. Gotcha. Two of them in this narrow hallway. Okay. Might be a little tiny bit risky, but I don't really like fighting in closed quarters in this game. I can't see what's happening, right? Oh, it's a hotel and bar. Okay. We'll probably stay here for the night then. I mean, we got plenty of food. We got plenty of, like, liquids and things like that. If I can clear this place out and maybe knock out some of these zombies, even if they do get inside, the chances of them finding us inside one of these little side rooms, pretty much nil. 
And I'm feeling kind of lazy. I don't want to go all the way back home right now. Even though we have a vehicle, it's a really, really long ways. And frankly, I just don't feel like I need the aerobic exercise. So I'm not gonna do it. Someone is, however, trying to break in here. And has broke it in here, in fact. Bathroom at the end of the hall. Okay. Let me make sure that wasn't our building. It was, I think. Yep, she wanted to get in for some reason. I don't know why she wanted in so badly, but in she hath come. There's a key right here. I'll throw it on my key ring. I don't know what it goes to, but I'll throw it on the key ring. You never know. It's only happened once or twice in me playing this game that, like, randomly I'll find a door that's locked and I'll, like, coincidentally just have the key on me. Well, you know, it's all good. What other stuff can we do here? We got a rain collector barrel. So we need planks, nails, carpentry four. We only have carpentry two. Okay, so that's apparently a pretty skillful craft. Like, that's going to take us some effort to get done. Is there somebody else outside banging on the windows? You guys like rap tap tapping out here? What's going on? I don't feel like dealing with zombies right now. So, like, there you are. See, I had a feeling one of you was around here somewhere. There's always, like, an excess zombie just, like, chilling off in a direction. I'm like, I'm trying to get my sleep on. Damn it. Look what you made me do. You made me break the damn window. Now we gotta call, like, a glazier or whatever the hell it is it's called. The people that make glass windows. Gotta have that custom fitted because it's an old-ass building from, like, 1904. Like, man. Weak. How could you do me like this? Three bags of chips? I'll take them. Throw them in the back. Apparently, they'll come and find the place where I am lying. You want to go where everybody knows your name? Boo -doo 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 that song makes me so ridiculously nostalgic. That, that, that show, Cheers, was basically like the office of my parents' generation. And like my parents used to watch that show religiously when I was a kid. It came on like right around the time I would go to bed. And, like, I distinctly remember falling asleep with the sound of it coming, like, through my door, you know what I mean? So now whenever I hear that song, I'm like, oh, and I get, like, a little bit nostalgic. Apparently the bail bond place has a gun safe full of clothing. Only the best work over here at this bail bond department. I need nails. You always need more nails. Nails are kind of hard to come by. You want to go where everybody knows you're... I'll try to disassemble it. I mean, carpentry's carpentry. Like, I got time to kill anyways. It's not like I'm doing anything important. There you go. Did it work? Oh, it did. Nice. Hell yeah. I mean, we, we botched it a little bit. We could have done, like, a little bit better, but, hey. I'll take it. How come, like, over here, it doesn't line up? So I'm trying to do that table right there, but it doesn't line up properly. Maybe that one. Oh, more nails. Okay. Throw those in there. Each one of these has like a hundred nails inside of it. And you will, once you start building and you start like crafting things, you are going to go through nails like really, really rapidly. And so I personally think it's a priority to make sure you always pick up nail boxes whenever you see them. Just as like a little additive resource. Probably should have pulled the battery out of that radio, but frankly, I'm feeling kind of lazy right now. I'm just not going to do it. It's 7.30 and I'm already sleepy. Well, that's because I got up at 2 in the morning today. Like, my guy said he was tired, so I went to bed. Obviously, he don't sleep like I sleep. Like, if I'm tired, that means I can sleep for like 12, 14, 16 hours. I'm a very skilled sleeper. I'm pretty good at it. Like, don't sleep on the fact that I'm pretty good at sleeping. And so, I guess our character doesn't have that talent. He's like naturally motivated or... I don't know. He's unnaturally willful and is able to pry himself out of bed in the morning. If I wake up at 3 in the morning, please believe I'm going right back to sleep. I will be unconscious in like 8 seconds. How do I get in here? Is there a window on this place? Huh. You have to knock the wall out to get in there. Please don't have an alarm. If you have an alarm, I'm going to be very, very sore with you. Apparently you need to have a saw in order to, like, disassemble things. I always thought that you just needed a hammer and a screwdriver. The game thinks differently. I'll take the duct tape since that's a repair tool. 
Got some magazines over here. We've got more motion sensors. All right. I'll go ahead and read it. Why not? I mean, we we read it. There you go. We now know, apparently, how to craft a motion sensor. That sounds decidedly more complicated than something I would know how to do. But I'm not going to, like, doubt the talents of other people that are just, like, flat out better than me. Like, they just allocated their stats better at the beginning of the campaign than I did. See, I willy-nilly just threw everything into charisma and hoped that that would work out for me. But, like, some people actually, like, dedicate stats to, like, real things, like intelligence. Let's see here. You got anything? What? Well, uh, we got metalwork. Master first aid. Lane's auto manual. Pretty much read all these. I think we're good there. Can I disassemble anything in here? I feel like I hear somebody, like, moaning and screaming, but... I don't know if that's just, like, my imagination running wild. We've got a wrench over here. We're going to need that for fixing cars, so I'll take that. That was one of the things we were missing. Another box of nails. Absolutely. Take the duct tape, too, so that I can fix my weapons when I need to. And another box of nails. Nice. We are going to be well nailed by the end of this adventure. Good. That's like 500, 600 nails. That'll last us a while. That's a decent amount. That's going to help out quite a bit. But the other thing I would say is maybe just, like, isolate ourselves in one of these back rooms and just, like, sleep in here somewhere. I think we'll be okay. I actually find this start to be much more entertaining if you live nomadic and you don't, like, have a base. You just kind of graze off the land until the power goes out. Then you get, like, that sudden, oh, shit moment where, like, you realize that everything is falling apart and, like, your food supplies are only going to last for, like, another week or two. That's how I like to play the game. I can disassemble the bed, really? Why would I want to do that? It's 9 o'clock. Do I want to go to bed? Nine. But I'm going to do it anyways. We almost made it. Man, this guy just don't like to sleep. He got, like, I guess almost eight hours. Maybe, like, eight hours on the dot. Nine o'clock at night until about five in the morning. He almost got eight hours. This dude sleeps a lot less than I do. If I don't get, like, nine or ten, like, I'm just a mess all day. It's kind of weird how different people require different amounts of sleep. You ever think about that? Like, I have friends that can 100% just function on, like, two hours of sleep, and they're fine as long as they've got coffee. Like me, if I get two hours of sleep, I am useless for everything today. Don't count on me for anything. If you give me an order or a command, it probably won't happen. If you ask me to put on a smile or be in a good mood, probably ain't gonna happen either. If I get two hours of sleep, I'm gonna be a next-level grumpy Gus. I don't see any other zombies around. We'll get straight to the zombie killing nice and bright and early in the morning. Nothing says wake me up like a struggle for life and death right after waking up. You gotta wake up, you gotta eat your entire cabbage, and then you gotta go outside and literally struggle for survival. That's how you start a day off right there. That's how you start off a day. Alright, Van. Uh, I need you to take all this stuff, Van. It's not immensely important. It's a little important. Good. And that guy just stood there like all day long. All right. All day long. Oh, yeah. All day long. Man, this hammer kind of sucks compared to my baseball bat. I really feel like the baseball bat was doing a much better job of murder and mayhem. Well, hell, if we don't have, like, a gardening supply store or anything else like that, a place where we can get a watering can, that's all we're missing. If I could just find a watering can and a saw, we could actually get started out here. But those two things appear to be eluding me. I know that guy had a pistol. I just don't care. I got, like, nine pistols back at home, and there's just too many of them. Fashiona Bell. You guys are going to want to fight, aren't you? All right, let's do it. I got you guys covered. Yeah, I need you to stay down, though. If you don't stay down, it makes my life complicated. Uh, we may need to use the baseball bat here. I need, like, faster kills. If we could just, like, hang out in this little town square area and maybe, like, maybe, like, clear out some of these zombies, I feel like that would be okay. Oh, almost got me. Almost got me. That was a close one. 
We'll have to check our status. She get me? Nope. It was close, though. It was close, though. That one made my heart jump a little bit. That one made my heart jump ever so slightly. Stay down. Now is not the time. How busted up is my back? It's got to be getting worse. All right. So, like, what was inside this place? Anything? It's just a clothing store. Like, I feel like this is a really, really good place to memorize for later. Once we get to, like, the winter season. But for right now, not that helpful. For the moment, anyways. There's the medical center. Like, I really got to figure out where supplies are at. Yeah, I need to, like, not be bogged down over here. Like, I'm okay with killing zombies. But once we start spending, like, way too much time killing zombies, it's usually time to bug out. Another wedding ring for the stash. All right. The dragon horde grows longer by every single stride we take. Don't worry about it, zombie. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to worry about here. Oh, that dude climbed through a window. Look at you guys over here being all acrobatic. I don't think we're going to find anything inside the zippy market. But I think this is really kind of like the extent of what is downtown here. Uh, Rosewood seems to kind of suck. Like, there's not a whole lot of stuff in Rosewood for me to... As much as I would like to... Rosewood just simply does not have... A lot of the sundries and things that I require in order to stay alive. So unless we can get, like, knee-deep in somebody's shed and find, like, a saw and a watering can there, this is becoming... I mean, we got the axe early, and honestly, I should have known when we got that early axe that the game was going to punish me somehow. Like, I should have known that it was going to make me suffer. Should have known. Let's head back to the van before I lose it. I just realized we're like a long way from our transport source. Is this open? Yeah, nothing that I need in there. We'll head off down the road this way. Back to the van. We'll start. It seems like this neighborhood over here. It seems like that neighborhood has a lot of sheds. So maybe that's what I'll try to do. Come on. And now that we're back at the van, let's get all settled in and we'll kind of just cruise this neighborhood over here. There you go. I just need you to try really, really hard. What is it, like a diesel engine, dude? I definitely feel like the engine noises this thing is making, it definitely feels like a diesel engine. Do they make diesel panel vans? I don't know what you would need a diesel panel van for. I don't think the carrying capacity on a panel van... Would be enough to, like, necessitate diesel. I mean, they make everything, so I would assume... Like, they make everything, so I would assume there would be a diesel panel van, but it kind of sounds like a diesel engine to me. It's got, like, that talk ta talk ta talk ta talk ta sound to it. Diesel smells a little different, too. Oh. What's up, lady? Don't mind me. I'm just stealing the jewelry off this corpse. Because I'm a thug like that. Alright, so we will beat your brains in until it's nice and safe over here. Let's go have a look. Oh, no. You fooled me. You were a stealth zombie. You are being so quiet up in there. You had your ghillie suit on and everything. Electronics magazine. Couple more hammers. Not what I'm looking for. No. Not what I'm looking for. I think we need a propane torch, too. I don't think I have a propane tank to go with that. I think you need the tank, too. But if you have the propane torch, you can work on cars and you can, like, fix the... Fix the operation-y bits. Apparently, there's a welding mask over here, too. None of this is what we're looking for, so we move on. I'll probably refuel, too. Yeah, I've got a full gas can, so... Might as well. 
Fun fact to it, a lot of people don't know this. If you look at the gas meter on your dashboard in a car, there's a little arrow. That arrow points to the side of the car where the actual fuel cap is. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that. It's one of those little tiny details that people just don't notice. And so I figured since we were refueling a vehicle, I'd just throw it out there that that's a thing. It exists. Just in case you didn't know. Just in case you have trouble remembering what side of the car the gas cap is on. Like if you have multiple vehicles. Or if you're driving an unfamiliar vehicle and you pull into the gas station. And you're like, damn, I wish I knew what side the fuel cap was on. It's pretty much universal that that little arrow is there on the fuel meter in every car ever invented. Hey, there's another one that's open. Let's check this garage out over here. Man, these people are living over here. These people are balling out. I might move and live on this side of town. If I wasn't utterly terrified by how long that would take with my uh, all thumbs skill. Another gas can right there. Hmm. Like, I know that like later on in the game, I'm going to need to roll around and just siphon gas from cars for a while. But for right now, I haven't decided if that's something that I want to do. Like, we need to have quite a few gas cans full. Like, we need to have, like, 10 or 15 of those full for the Jenny once we get to... Hey, there's that propane tank I was talking about. God knows if we're going to be able to carry it, but we do have a propane torch and a propane tank. That means we can do vehicle repairs. I'm pretty sure you can fix the paneling on your cars and stuff like that. I mean, it's an extra thing to help out with all the random... Oh, really? Lane's Auto Manual. That teaches me basic mechanics? Yeah, do it. There you go. Learn new things. Cool. So I guess we've got instructive manual containing diagrams and maintenance for various family vehicles. Okay, cool. I mean, it sounds like the kind of thing that we're definitely going to utilize. I like these fences right here. These fences are fancy. I like them. They look good. I'm actually not carrying around that much. It's just the propane tank that's going to take up an absurd amount of weight. And so we got to unload it right now before it becomes a problem. Yeah, the lack of a saw is really kind of jamming us up right now. If we could just find a saw, I could finally make planks and we could like start building our base, but haven't seen a single saw this entire time. So until we find that, we're pretty much hosed. Like, there's not a whole lot we can do to advance ourselves until we find a saw. Because if you're wondering what the general idea is, once you get a saw, you can chop down trees with a lumber axe. And then you can saw them into planks. The secondary function is that you can disassemble things to level up your carpentry. And we're going to need, like, two or three water collectors. Like, it usually rains every three to four days in this game. Like, this game isn't like a lot of other games where there's, like, hard seasons that kind of come through. At least not in my experience. It just seems like rain is kind of like a random dice roll that happens at the beginning of the day. And if it rolls a certain value, you end up with rain. And it seems to be a fairly common value, too, because it rains a lot in Project Zomboid. So, I don't know. So we find this saw, though. We are stuck. I mean, worst case is that, like, I can go over to Muldraw, which I think we're, like, south of. I know that Muldraw... Has a hardware store, or maybe it's West Point that we're south of. I don't know. I'd have to take a look at the world map again. It's been a while. Just die already, please. Apparently, I've gotten better at something. Huzzah for me. Everyone throw funfetti in the air like you just don't care. It's not an annotated map. How close is my bat to breaking? Pretty close. Maybe we'll just kind of like skedaddle this way. See what's over here. My guess is that it's going to be like a palatial estate. It's going to be something really, really nice over here. I mean, they've got a dope driveway. I mean, it might be nothing. This is rapidly turning into driving distance. Huh. And now I'm winded. 
Well, we're out of time for the day, so my name is Splattercat. I'm going to go back and get the van, and we'll just come back down this way and see what we can find. If you like Project Zomboid, hit the like button down below. It helps me out as a content creator, and go down to the description and purchase the game from the developers. You deserve it. Have some R&R. &R, play some video. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi to everybody.